Hello everyone and welcome back to my stereoscopic 3D Let's Play of Alien Isolation presented in the full side-by-side -side stereoscopic format. This is part 37 and this is also going to be the part where hopefully I'm able to get myself into Apollo's chamber. Apollo. I don't know, we got some Joes that might want to make that a bit tricky for me. Synthetic safety procedures are getting bypassed left and right. <laughs> Comms are offline. I thought it was rigged, but I'm not so sure. Oh god, I gotta get in. Tell Suzanne I'm over. Okay. Looks like I can access the these from either side. Access to Apollo security banks. Oh shit. I might be boxed in here a little bit. Dome terminal to gain access. Okay, so I found it somehow. The hell is this? Low power. Okay, let's see what this is. Ah, I've snuck in. And we've got a save point. Hostels are nearby, but they should be on the other side of the doors. Alright, we got a gigantic dome here. I guess this is the AI brain. Decent convergence for viewing pleasure. Whoops. Whoa! Wow, that's not gonna happen. I'm good, but I'm not that good. <laughs> so we need to figure out a way to reduce those capabilities. Alright. What do we have around back? We've got a button. What's that button gonna do? Might as well press it. I just saved. Doesn't appear to do anything. No indication of where to go on my tracker. Can't get through there. Alright, so this is just gonna lead around. It's gonna take me back into that room with uh, the dudes. What about these monitors? Are these accessible now? Oh, yes they are. Press matching move keys when circuit is active. Okay, I see what's going on. So it's up, left, down. Up. Down. Up. Down. <laughs> Jesus. For the other one now. I guess these might be the security uh, capabilities. I don't know. Ripley, she's the genius here. She knows what she's doing. Oh. Huh. Maybe I need to press the button. What does that button do? Change anything here? Oh, it's usable now. Ah, oh, it's this game. Ah, oh, shit. I hate this one. Okay, it's gonna be coming on the bottom right. Oops. There we go. Should make the job easier. I'm gonna save again so I don't have to do that again. 
That's what saving was invented for, so you don't have to waste time from your life doing the same stuff over again. All right. Yep, thank you. So let's see if those capabilities are within my capabilities. Yep. More than within my capabilities. Now we must speak with Apollo. Apollo, I need to speak with you. Yep. Turn yourself on, my friend. Maybe around the other side? Oh, oh, we got some serious stuff moving around here. Oh, it's, oh, it's racing. Oh, this is just like in the alien movie when, uh, What's his name? Dallas goes in to talk to Mother. Oh, come on, cutscene! Fuck! Yeah, it's the same type of AI room. Sweet! Tani involved. Oh, they purchased the facility. Two days ah. after we left. You're kidding me. <laughs> it isn't on the damn station. Same thing mother told Dallas. Investigate the central reactor. This room. This is fucking classic. So we're gonna exit Apollo beneath his core. They just go away with all the messages so I can take some screenshots. Okay, let's save. Alright, here we go. <laughs> They've changed the PA system. Why didn't they do that immediately when they bought it? Why did they suddenly do it now as soon as I discover of the purchase? I mean, discover information about the purchase. Alright. Don't know what I'm heading down into, but hopefully something pleasant. Yeah, right. right. Check and make sure there's nothing around here. Got a random terminal down beneath the Apollo core. Apollo primary interaction log. November 11th, 2137. Class, human interaction. Request for inter-corporate messaging received. Outgoing message to Wayland yutani representatives accepted and monitored. Then, five days later, Class Colonial Marshal Incident Report. Temporary emergency measures initiated in San Cristobal Medical Facility. No further information provided. I guess that's when the creature broke out. External interaction. Purchase order received. Wayland Utani operational rule set packet received, verified, and installed. 
Colonial Marshall's Incident Report. Emergency measures initiated in San Cristobal Medical Facility extended. No further information provided. Station scans initiated under Wayland yutani Directive Number Blah 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 24th of November, 2137. Class. Containment Hazard Alert. And verified scans in reactor systems. Special Order 939 initiated. Priority 1. Protect Specimen. Maintain Station Quarantine. Disallow Communications. Alright, so that's when stuff started uh, getting heated. Alright, so December 11th, 2137. Sevastopol Arrivals Log. I guess this is us arriving. New inhabitants logged with Apollo Systems by Synthetic Staff. Ripley Amanda, Level 2, Wayland Dutani. Taylor Nina, Level 4, Wayland Dutani. Samuels Christopher, Level 3, Wayland Dutani. Expendable. Great. Same day. Class Containment Hazard Alert. Viable threat to specimen detected in Project KG348 Hazard Lab. Containment Hazard Alert raised to Omega. So what was the threat? I remember being in the Hazard Lab and uh, we initiated the reactor there. But I don't think it worked. Spedding. It's ransom. With the Wayland yutani buyout, it's more important than ever that the flight recorder handover goes without a hitch. They'll be low-level execs and won't know jack about the buyout, but if they hear rumors about a disappearing people problem, well, I don't want to rock the boat, and neither do you. Let's just keep everything nice and quiet. We don't want them having second thoughts. How, how is all this information about the buyout being kept from me, even though I'm, I'm snooping in people's mail? It's just, come on. There's no way that I wouldn't catch wind of this earlier. In my glasses, man. My glasses, I gotta tell you. I can't get this rubber nose guard to stay in position. It just f comes out immediately. Okay. Just keep it on my face and things should be fine. Okay, nothing else. Let's take the... Take this whatever it is. to anything, Apollo wouldn't be so ready to see us killed. Okay, let's check out this central reactor. Reactor coolant plant. And we have bogies detected. Sweet. Okay, they're over there. Doesn't look like they can get down here directly. This... Power up the tram systems. Don't know if that's a good idea. Oh, SA injector. Good. That might be the only thing I can do, but let's make sure. Okay, we got some water dripping. That is not, in fact, spittle from the alien. I haven't encountered the alien since I started playing this game again. I've been playing about an hour and a half. An hour and 45 minutes, actually. No aliens sighted yet. But. The game is named after him, so. I'm sure we'll encounter him again shortly. Or the power, okay. Hey, something weird's happening. 
Synthetics are on the fritz, so I found some guys to help me out. I sent one of them into a manufacturing room, but he never came out. Every door is locked, and he sure as hell couldn't fit through the air vent without a fight. We don't know what to do. It doesn't seem right to keep working without looking for him, but there's nowhere to look. Our ship's over soon. I'll report the incident to Waits and the Marshals. Oh, well, someone went missing here. Alright. We should be able to activate this now, the generator. Oh, that's kind of popping out, but... Won't last too long, hopefully. I don't know if that would kill me. It'd probably just push me back, but I don't really want to risk it. Save the game again. Familiar looking area. towards the workshop is a camera and a motion has been detected there he is probably best to go in here right hello oh what he saw me He's right there. Shit. Try this again. One cannot simply venture beyond the vent. Shit, that's actually a window. Turn <sighs> around. Shit, I wanted to get a kill on him, but he moved too quick. I can't go through that camera. Turn it off. Where'd he go? Oh, he's right there. Yeah, he's right there. I seriously want to see if I can get a quick kill on these guys. Oh, come on!
Sadly, that does not work. So, we're just going to evade him. First thing to do is turn off the camera. Don't know if I have enough time to do this before he comes out. But I don't think he can see me behind kind of a pole type thing. Turn on air purification. I don't know if that's... I don't know if that's going to do anything. Take a look around here. Can hide. Oh. I thought I turned air purification on. Yes, yeah, that room right there. Does it make a difference? Ah! Oh! Pff. <laughs> Hitting him like that woke him up. <laughs> quite understand the combat system, so I'm trying some things out. None of them work. At least not on this difficulty. There will be no. And I do mean no deaths this time going for it. Ooh, -y yikes. Cannot believe you didn't see me there. Some stuff. Good. Sorry about the convergence, but it's not worth adjusting it for just this. Not seen anything of use in here. Not that I can see much, anyways. Yikes. Bonding agent. A map. Maybe I missed some stuff in there, but I can't see. Probably just leads around. Another camera. Where's our Joe? Where you are? Where you are? There he is. Could require your attention, but it probably doesn't. So, why don't you just leave me alone? I'm hearing something moving in these vents. Synthetic stay is never done. Okay, there he is. He's walk walking back. Oh, did he turn on this light? I don't remember that light being on. 
over here, nothing. Got a room here. Was this an upgrade for cutting torch? Ah, the ion flame. Finally got the ion torch. It only took forever. Don't think he'll come in here? I'm gonna wait for him to do his patrol route and turn around. Yep. See, he comes over that way. Come in here. Nope. He patrols a whole area. Okay, he's going back. Where did he go? Okay. Shit. No opening. So I want to make sure there's nothing up top here I'm missing. Come on. Whoa. Careful. Tool shop. Inaccessible. Check around here. Okay. Good to go. I keep hearing this noise, man. Something's really stomping around. Okay. So something's in the area. Oh. Across the way there. So I'm gonna save the game and cut this part right here. Part 38 will be the next episode of my stereoscopic 3D Let's Play. Thank you for joining me in this part, and the series will continue till its completion. It's not the most successful of Let's Plays on the YouTube, that's absolutely for damn sure, but it is something that I started, and I just, for my own sake, need to complete it. Uh, nobody has ever asked me, hey, you gonna complete this? You win a month and a half without recording any parts. Well, that's a bit disappointing to have that complete lack of reaction to the sudden and unexpected hiatus in the Let's Play. 
indicates a certain lack of enthusiasm amongst the people of YouTube for this Let's Play, but you can't rely on other people to, uh, to give you the due credit that you deserve for the amount of work that you've put into an endeavor on YouTube. And that's been my experience with pretty much 99% of all the stuff that I've done for YouTube, but uh, I expect that will never change. I just don't have what it takes, don't have the luck, don't have the will to prom promote my stuff aggressively, and I also do not have the, uh, the audience for the type of videos that I make, which is stereoscopic 3D productions that, of games that are not the latest and greatest shit that people are looking for. So that's what, uh, that's what you get. Oh, well, it's not what I, you get, it's what I get. But... I need to finish this Let's Play just for my own sense of well-being. And I'll, when it comes to well-being, I'll take what little scraps I can get because there's not, there aren't many opportunities to, to feel any of it. So anyways, let's continue uh, in part 38. So thanks for watching.